What is up? I am Mumphy. Welcome back to the channel. As I go through modding my 2020 Toyota Tacoma, I really appreciate you guys joining me on this adventure. So thank you so much. I really appreciate it. We've got an install video that's gonna make it a little bit easier to get into the engine bay. But before we get into this install, I got a couple of quick announcements. I had a couple of companies reach out send me some discount codes for you guys to use on their website. So, first one, if you haven't already, check out Screen Pro Tech on their website, screenprotech.com. They offer probably the best screen protection for your Tacoma. Now, if you don't own a Tacoma, don't worry, they got you covered with their library of screen protection for numerous vehicles out there, and they're adding more all the time. So even if you don't own a Tacoma or know somebody that doesn't own a Tacoma, but they'd be interested in protecting their screen, their dash, check them out over at screenprotect.com. And at checkout, use code MUMPHY15 and you'll get 15% off your order. That's pretty cool. The other company has an app that you can download onto your phone to browse all the mods that they currently have that you can get for your Toyota Tacoma. Taco Clout is amazing. He does the amber deletes. He's also got a couple of patches, but he's got ditch lights, grills. So be sure to check him out. And if you do order anything off of the website at Taco Clout, use code MUMPHY for a discount there at checkout. Now, let's get into this install. All right, so you'll have to forgive my neighbor's sprinklers that just came on. But as you can see, what we are going to be installing is the Soki Tech hood dampeners for the Toyota Tacoma. This is going to make it so much easier to get in and out of the engine bay when I start adding more lighting or other accessories and just to clean it up if need be. So here's all that comes in the kit. What you're going to get is you're going to get two brackets marked L and R. And on the back, they do have some 3M tape because they are going to butt up against the hood and they will be utilizing the top bolt on the hood. You're also going to get your attachment pins which you're going to screw into factory holes on the Tacoma and then of course you get the dampeners themselves. Now one thing that the instructions don't tell you is which strut, because there's two links here, which strut or dampener goes on which side. To clear this up, the long one is going to go on the passenger side, the short one is going to go on the driver's side. Now as far as the hood brackets are concerned, you have L and R, not passenger driver, which would have been really helpful, but the best way to figure this out is that if you're looking out over the hood, right, left, that's basically going to how it's going to be installed. So the right is going to be passenger, the left is going to be driver. Now as far as tools, what you're going to need is you may need a small little screwdriver, you may need a crescent wrench, but you will need a 12 millimeter socket and a 10 millimeter socket. Now we got all that out of the way, let's get this installed. Alright, here we are on the passenger side of the Tacoma. We're going to be utilizing the bracket with the R and we'll be tying into the top bolt here on the hood. And we may need to just kind of finagle the washer fluid line out of the way because we will be sticking the 3M tape to a portion of the hood up here. So we'll quickly wipe that down, make sure that that's clean and we've got uh, nice adhesion on this, but we'll take our 12 mil bolt and we'll loosen this top bolt. So now that we've got the bolt in, because I have my ditch light brackets on here as well, the uh, there is a gap up here. So what we'll do, as you can see there's play in there, we'll tighten this down, but we'll go ahead and press the bracket up against the hood 
and then we'll tighten down the bolt. Just like that. And our washer fluid line is out of the way, so we should be good to go. All right, so here we are on the passenger side. We will be putting our connection point for the dampener onto a screw hole. Now back behind this plastic piece, which you can just pop off, if you just push forward, you can actually lift this up. And you can see right here, next to the air box, there's a hole, a factory hole that we'll be tying into. So, we'll just make sure that our washer's on. And we'll go ahead and screw our connector into the hole there. And then we'll take a 10 mil and we'll just tighten that up. Now the socket may not work, so we'll just take our wrench and just snug that down. Now if you want, you can put some blue Loctite on there just to make sure that it's super secure. Now we can put the damper on. All right, now remember we're gonna be using the long damper. And these are just, just gonna pop on there. And they have a retaining clip to make sure that it's all held on. As you can see, uh, I do have the hood prop up and we're actually a little short. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to lift the hood up so that we're able to make the connection. But these dampeners do have a clip on the end that help retain the connection point. And there we go. Now, we can pop this plastic piece back into place. Now if you want, you can make a relief cut in there. Um, I'm not gonna worry about it too much. I was a little worried about uh, the clearance on the uh, ditch lights, but uh, we actually look pretty good. Let's get the driver's side. All right, now the only difference from the passenger side to the driver's side is that we'll be tying into our ground, basically replacing this ground bolt with our dampener connection. So I'll, uh, I'll undo this, replace this, and get this tightened down. This is a 10 mil. Let's make sure we got all our connections back on there. Screw that down. We should be able to tighten this up. All right. Now, let's get the damper on. Just remember, we're utilizing the short one on the driver's side. Get that on there. It looks like I'm gonna have to raise the hood again. And we are on. Cool, let's check it out. Awesome. Well guys, that's gonna wrap it up for this install video. I hope you enjoyed it. Pretty simple, quick, easy install to do. And now I don't need that uh, factory prop bar. But uh, anyway, I just wanted to make sure that I had plenty of clearance with the ditch lights, which I do have that clearance. It's not touching the windshield at all. And we've got awesome function. Easy up, easy down. The only thing that I'm uh, a little bit concerned about with doing these is now I may have to remove or undo one of the dampeners on the ground bolt if I decide to add anything else. But I shouldn't, I shouldn't need to simply because I have my tray and my Switch Pro and my fuse block that's all already tied into that ground. So yeah, I'm really glad that I have that set up uh, if you have something similar with like an aux beam setup or uh, any of those other brands that offer a switch controller, you may not have to worry about tying into that ground anymore and just tying into your bus bar. That's pretty awesome. Uh, if you are looking at getting the Switch Pro like I have, be sure to check out SD Offroad MT over on Instagram. 
send it, tell him that uh, Mumphy sent you over there. He'll hook you up with the, the Mumphy setup if you want. Real cool guy, Derek, over there at SD Off-Road MT. And be sure to check out Screen Protect for that screen protection if you don't already have it. And use the coupon code Mumphy15 for 15% off. And also be sure to check out Taco Clout. Use code Mumphy over there and you'll get a discount on your order. So thanks again for sticking with me on this install. I really appreciate all you guys. If you want, hit me up on Instagram, Mumphy underscore taco. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. And we'll catch you in the next video. Peace.